Okay, back again. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. This week, I want to fulfill a request from one of my YouTube subscribers who made a comment on one of my videos asking if I would review this ligature, the Mark Jean ligature. And it makes sense because not many saxophonists know about these awesome ligatures. Mark Jean, he's based out of Canada. I believe he's making them hand by hand and, and, and they're great ligatures. So hopefully this review helps anyone that's looking into a new ligature or is interested in this specific ligature. Quick shout out to John Selmer who made that initial comment on my video uh, requesting this review. I love getting comments so don't be shy, especially if you wanna request me to cover a certain topic or maybe to do a review on some gear I'm playing on or using. Those comments, those requests kind of help me push forward with these weekly videos, uh, bringing new topics to the table for myself. So don't be shy with that. Full disclaimer, if you're not a saxophonist, this is gonna be pretty boring for you. This is just a gear talk uh, for all us gearheads. Okay, let's get into it. So for me, with my jazz setup, ligatures mainly affect like the feel and response of the reed. I'm looking for a ligature that's gonna give a certain type of tightness and support, I should say, uh, that's gonna give you a nice focus sound and a good control over your intonation, but it has to have a good open vibration to it. Basically, so it feels like the ligature is not dampening any vibrations of the reed. And there's a lot of ligatures that have really open sounds, but they lack a sort of definition to the core. It's hard to kind of find my focus in my tone. So with all that said, I mean, the Marc Jean ligature by far is the, is the most open ligature I've played on that has this type of focus. When it comes to the richness and just like the high harmonics of the sound, this ligature is by far what I've tried the best. What's neat about these ligatures is they're made, I'll take it off really quick, they are made with wood right here. The base plate is made out of wood and it seems like their concept, Mark John's concept was to try to emulate a double reed instrument. So if you have the two pieces of wood here and here, it's basically like having the two double reeds of say an oboe or a bassoon kind of uh, vibrating against each other. Basically the oboe, if you think about an oboe, it has a very nice harmonic buzz sound to it. And the tonal properties of these double reed instruments are very rich harmonically. So that is their their concept. That's the Mark Jean concept. This wood is made out of Grenadilla wood, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's the same wood that high quality clarinets are made out of and it's just known for its really nice acoustical properties. Now I know they do make ligatures that are the whole thing, it's like a ring and it wraps around your mouthpiece and is uh, made out of Grenadilla wood. But I never had any luck with those. I feel like uh, if you can't tighten the ligature, it doesn't really produce a proper seal against the, the reed. So when we're talking about the seal, uh, making sure it seals properly, I always look for a, ma a ligature that has a good amount of, I guess you can call it longitudinal, I think that's a word, <laughs> support on the reed. So it's actually covering up a good amount of space on the reed, reed's bark here. And this ligature has plenty of support when it comes to that. There's two reasons why I like that. One reason is because I think it gives, again, just a lot of uh, support to the reed and a lot of focus to your sound. For me, it helps with intonation, especially not playing like flat in the low range or too sharp in the top range, things like that. The second reason is the long support on the reed is gonna actually help your reed to not warp on your mouthpiece if it dries out a little bit. So if you're on these long gigs, the reed can warp if you don't have enough support on that back part of the reed. I found this out because I used to use a ligature like this. Um, this is just like a ring, metal ring. I think you pronounce it bois. It's French, boys spelled like. And I used to use this ligature when I was playing on Selmer mouthpieces. And this is a super, a very open mouthpiece, but, or, sorry, open ligature, but my reeds were warping on my mouthpiece at long gigs, and I was just like, I couldn't have that. Plus, coming off of the Selmer mouthpieces, because Selmers have a pretty focused sound already, um, I was having I was having issues with intonation with this ligature, so that's why I kind of started to look into the, the more supporting ligatures. Now, you can see this ligature actually doesn't even fit on the Berg Larsen. Berg Larsen mouthpieces are super, the shank is like huge. So it's hard to find ligatures that fit these mouthpieces. So when I went to Marc Jean, they were super helpful and they make like 58 sizes of this thing. So they make like for all instruments, you know, everything. I basically, 
I told them I had this mouthpiece and they said, okay, this is the size you need. And the thing fits perfectly. You know, it's like, I don't need to worry about over tightening or like the, the, the screw being too loose on the, the screw. Uh, Cause sometimes that kind of will bend the screw a little bit or just bend the ligature in general. So huge, whoops, oh boy. We're good. That's another thing, they're really durable. I've dropped this a few times and it still keeps the same the same, um, uh, same uh, shape. So that, so yeah, so that's really why I sought out them because they, they have so many sizes and it fits the Berg Larson really well. You're getting a really great quality product here. Handmade, I've had this for maybe about, maybe a little under two years actually. There's a bit of tarnish on it, but I do a lot of outdoor playing and I actually do some playing on an airport, which like I'm outside playing. <laughs> I think the jet fuel is like messing with the, the ligature, but I, it, I don't care about that. Uh, it still has the same tonal characteristics. This is a silver plated version. So it's probably their brightest model, their richest model, which I wanted to get. And it, it's, it's really great. So quick point, these work really well with hard rubber mouthpieces um, for jazz playing. They really like richen up the hard rubber, especially some of the, the manufacturers, I think their hard rubber is, is a little dead sounding and this will like really totally change the game on that. Uh, metal mouthpieces, I haven't, I don't really play metal mouthpieces, so I don't really know, but I, I imagine it may be a little too bright or brittle sounding, uh, but if that's your thing, totally give it a try. So yeah, so let, let me just try a few ligatures out, the ones that fit this mouthpiece. I think I basically only have like uh, three others um, that'll fit this, and I'll just play like uh, the same thing and get an idea of what it can sound like. Again, these are super subtle differences. Out of any equipment, I think the ligature probably makes the least amount of effect on your sound, but if you can tell through this microphone over the internet through YouTube, whatever. That's cool. So another thing about this ligature is it's when I play it compared to everyone else, all these other ligatures, is the it's so so homogenous, like from the top to the bottom, it just has like a really clear uh, sound that is the same from top to bottom, and the response is the same. And I think that comes with like handmade ligatures, ligatures that are like designed for a specific size mouthpiece, you know, that you're gonna get the, the thing closing on the reed and sealing the, exactly the same on each part. So that is what it, I think, you, you pay for that of course, but it's worth it. That's pretty much it. Make sure to subscribe right here, and like, and comment, and that's all you gotta do. Thanks. <laughs>